Before I get into today's video, remember to follow me on Twitter. So my Twitter, the link is in the description below. You can also find me. My handle is at Jackson Kruger. Come over, say hi. And anyways, back to your regularly scheduled video. Aaron Donald is good at football. Uh, I know, hot take, but I want to talk about exactly what he does and what his just insane value he brings to a football team is. So we're going to start off with this play, and this is kind of a this is an obvious one, right? This is his career highlight, probably, where this is that fourth down and one play uh, in the Super Bowl, game on the line. He has a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and he's just going to, you know, do what he can do. Watch him just immediately. I mean, this is a near immediate pressure. Burrow just has to throw one up and cannot make a play. Uh, you know, the Burrow's first read was not open, and that's all she wrote. Game over. Rams win and a big part of that was because Aaron Donald got that immediate pressure while well, everyone's gonna say eh that's the Bengals offensive line well the, the left guard Quentin Spain was pretty good last year like that's not a you know slouch that Donald was going up against necessarily Donald's just that good so we all know that this is what he can do he can find ways to just completely wreck a play and say yeah no unless you're getting rid of the ball immediately which that's had a small chance to do given the concept but unless you're getting rid of the ball immediately you're not going to be able to uh to win on this play or even stuff like this which isn't necessarily uh that play it's still pretty close he's going up one-on-one -on -one against this is Hakeem Adeniji that he's going up against not the best offensive lineman there that's fair to say but still watch what donald's gonna do first one thing donald is doing is he just gets his hands right you know on the uh you know upper part of identity and this is kind of one of the things about donald is donald's like hands and his like technique aren't like that much better than everyone else really a big chunk of what makes him effective it's just like it just he's just better at everyone like he's just stronger than everyone he's just is able to be quicker than everyone he still has good hands and good technique and watch what he's gonna do to poor Hakeem Adeniji here. I mean, watch him just shove over Adeniji, gets to Joe Burrow, and gets the sack right there. So these kind of quick plays, we all know he can do this, right? This is obviously part of his value is he just legitimately just will go up and get a sack, which that's obviously very valuable in itself. But there's so much more to it than just that. There's all the little things that make having a great pass rushing interior defensive lineman so valuable. For example, let's talk about something like this, where what's going to happen here is you have, uh, this is the blocking concept, and you notice I've circled the center, and the reason why I'm circling the center is this is kind of the one question mark you always have in a blocking concept. You know that the guards are going to block the defensive tackles, and the tackles are going to be blocking the edge rushers. That's typically how this is going to work, again, in a traditional defensive lineman, which is what you have here, a traditional 4-3 defensive lineman. Now, typically, it's a question mark. Who is the center going to block? Typically, they will double team one of the uh, interior defensive linemen, but which guy do you want to block? Well, in this scenario, I mean, the decision is kind of obvious, right? You want to double team Aaron Donald. That's what he's going to do. He's going to pull over to the right side of the screen, which will be towards his left, block Aaron Donald, double team him, don't allow those last two plays to happen on this play, right? Don't, you double him, this makes sense. But this does something else if you're the Rams. Not only does it you know, take on a double team, which in itself is valuable, gives everyone else a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Aaron Donald, if he just takes on a double team, that's a good play by him. However, the flip side is you also know that they're probably going to double team Aaron Donald on this play, meaning you can game plan accordingly. The Rams are going to have Greg Gaines kind of run to the right guard's right side of his body, so towards the left side of the screen, to get that guard identity to move in that direction. Then what they can do is have Von Miller swing around, and with the guard running sort of away from the center, and you can feel pretty confident the center is going to be paying attention to Donald, this could potentially create a clear lane for Von Miller to run through. Watch, right when this play begins, I mean, look at that gap that opens up, and this is entirely opened up because A, good defensive play calling and good understanding of your defense and understanding the situation but b this is set up entirely with aaron donald being able to just take on these double teams and you know he's such a threat you know teams are going to game plan against him and you can then game plan sort of knowing that they're going to game plan against him this is kind of a really smart and clever thing to do but it's also something that's entirely set up because of a guy who isn't even really doing anything on this play 
You notice Von Miller does get through and get to the sack. Also, Aaron Donald created a pressure on that play. Like, if Von Miller didn't get there, Donald would have maybe gotten there, which is just another baffling thing, is that despite all the attention he was getting, and despite the fact that there was so much attention given to him that they were able to get a sack on that play, he still got a pressure himself on that play. Just a just baffling. It's it's unbelievable how good he is. And one more thing I want to talk about will be shown on this play because one thing I've always felt like Donald does not get enough credit for is his run defense. I think his run defense is just as valuable, if not more valuable, than his pass rush, which is, I know, a scorching hot take, but A, uh, I think there's evidence to support that good run defense actually matters more than good pass rush. And I also think that you just got to think about what his run defense does for the Rams in particular. The Rams are a team that didn't play as much cover two last year, but you know in previous years, they played a lot of cover two, and they still will play cover two. And what that means is cover two, or I'm saying cover two, really uh, two safety deep is what I mean. And what that means is I made a video actually sort of explaining the importance of two safety deep versus one safety deep coverages, but kind of the, the you know, the quick notes version of it is you have, uh, you know, if you have two safeties deep, that means that you have one less guy in the box, meaning that uh, the offense has someone to block everybody. Everyone is accounted for. But that means you also have to block everybody. And Aaron Donald is a tough guy to block, even if you have a guard who can try to block him. And this is the perfect example. Everyone remembers that fourth down and one play where Donald got the pressure and the Rams won the game. What I think a lot of people forget is the third down and one play was also very much an Aaron Donald play. And this is kind of a great example of just what makes playing the Rams so difficult. Watch, right when this play begins, you see that Hakeem Adeniji is in a fine spot. Like he's position-wise is not doing a bad job, but Donald is just stronger. Watch him push Adeniji with one hand, grabs the other hand, and pulls back uh, the, some, the halfback, which allows for Aaron Donald to be able to not give up the first down. This created a fourth down, which they would eventually get the stop on, and they would go on to win the Super Bowl. So these are kind of the, just the insane great plays that Donald can do so consistently, which is why he's the best player in football if you take out positional value. So yeah, I mean, again, long story short, Aaron Donald, good at football. I think you can make a very legitimate argument that as long as Aaron Donald plays 17 games, he should just win defensive player of the year every year because he is that good because it's not just what he does. It's what he can do around him, all of that stuff. The defense is built around him and... For good reason. When you have a guy like that, build a defense around him. It makes some sense. So that's what I think about all this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.